Okay, what's going on guys? Today just I'm back again. Back and chest super setting. You always start with the pull ups. Just gotta do the pull ups. Pull-ups, dips, and push-ups. You only do pull-ups, dips, and push-ups. You can develop a great physique. Just to, as a beginner. You don't need any machines. You don't need anything else. The big three. Pull-ups, dips, push-ups. Right? Salami. Italian salami, Hungarian sausage, and uh, and the uh, Indian. Uh, I hate it. Pull-ups. Could never do really. Maybe five. And uh, the best, the most pull-ups I ever done was 28. Straight. That was a little bit light. What was your max pull-ups ever? Someone did a second place. Whoa, whoa. Was that a second second, second place guy did 24. But I just kept going. I felt like. What's the body weight? Same body. I mean, we were the same. Wide lip, close, medium. Wide.
Just hundred pounds. Stretching again, right? Make sure you stretch, otherwise you're gonna be stiff. Like a, like a piece of wood. Um, another thing, the importance of having a good training partner because they keep pushing you to your max, right? I would probably not go for 110 today, or 125, but because of your training partner's going up. Because of my training partner's going up with the weights, I gotta, I, I gotta have to. So, with training partners, it's crucial. The Panatone game. <laughs> How do you say it? Panatone. Panatone, with a little accent, Italian Panatone accent. Panatone games. And egg whites, you gotta okay. include that. The 110, where's the 110? Right there. Cool. But I gotta get the, gotta get this goulash power. <clears throat> Fucking break my back by bringing the weights up. Gains for the holidays. How does it feel? I got 35 again. Oh! I haven't done that in a long time. That's right. That's a good training partner. Dust to you. Shandor. Shandor partner. The best. <laughs> Bigger range of motion doing dumbbells. It's just you don't you're not gonna hit it. Your stomach is not in the way. You can go pull it up all the way up. As, as high as you can. Try not to swing too much.
feels more difficult than a bent over barbell row. Right? Pull-ups first, dumbbell presses. Dumbbell back rows. And of course, you cannot miss classic dumbbell blowers. One of those old school moves. Yeah, it's not for everybody. But it's effective. When you're supersetting chest and back, pullover is just a perfect exercise transition to. Because it both works the chest and the back. And I prefer the dumbbell pullovers. Flexibility. This is a good test for that. Definitely. Shoulder killer? No. It's not a shoulder killer if you can do overhead presses and if you can do wide upright rows. If you can do both those two, you should not have a problem with the pullovers either. Okay. You don't have enough flexibility, but you gotta do this in the end of the workout, so you're already warmed up. Never drop the weights. Only if you. Only, only if it's more than 125 pounds. Not allowed. Change up here. Height, higher, medium, lower. We'll try all the variety. The next step we're gonna go lower. Make sure bring the elbows in the way down. You don't want to just go like this. We need to bring the elbows in. Just an extra squeeze. Give it a try. Now we're gonna go down. Another one, we're gonna bend over.
for years? Yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Um, sorry, the video is not as professional as a lot of other videos on YouTube, but this is my first one. And uh, this is not the only thing I do. I try to do my best. I don't really have a microphone on that camera. So any suggestions, you can just comment below. Thank you for watching again. See you next time. Back in chest super set. Chandor is out. Yeah.